Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar finished exploring the entry area of the Abyss, and then made his way down into this shaft that contains four elemental mazes. And after completing those four mazes, the Avatar is left with these four globes that should probably all be placed upon this pedestal. But before we do that, if you'll recall, when we were on the orange platform for the fire maze, I looked down and saw, oh, well, that, right there, and said, boy, that looks interesting. I sure would like to see what's in there. Let's see what's in there. To do that, we step on this teleporter, which takes us... to the top. And interestingly, now there is a teleporter here, a pad. There, there wasn't before. Not that it matters, it's only for receiving, but it would seem that jumping into this shaft area of the abyss from the entry area of the abyss like we did in the last video does not create the teleporter pad, but teleporting here from the bottom of the shaft does. Right, so there's the target. Still can't really make it right now, but... recall that when we finished up in here there was this red button but I said we'll push that later well now is later that was super janky it is not at all clear what just happened, but the Avatar was brought back down here, where we started the video, in fact. And now, there are all these little platforms sticking out of the wall, leading up to that room. So let's go on an adventure. Halfway there. This would be tough, <laughs> I gotta say. Okay. And yeah, if we. Oh, that's not right at all. That's not right at all. Ugh. Well, pay no attention to, to all that, but. It, well, that does highlight the fact that, yeah, that's the fire maze and. That's the orange platform from where we could originally see this. And what is this? Ooh, scary door. A binding circle. That's convenient because we've got something we'd like to bind. Go ahead and get some light in here. Why not? What's in this chest? That is uh, a bunch of reagents. How convenient. We need some reagents. Which reagents do we need to bind? Time stop. We need blood moss, garlic, and mandrake root. So let's go rifling around in here and pick those up. Take the... Nope, that's nightshade. Blood moss. Garlic. And mandrake root. And there's a spell scroll of light in there. We don't really need that. That's okay. Who 
left this out? Piggy. Let's put everything away. So let's place the blood moss, garlic, and mandrake root, and finally the spell scroll of Time's Top. Its incantation is on Tim or Time. I don't know, I've never heard it out loud, but uh, we'll call it Time. On Time. <laughs> make sure you're on Time. Come on, you know I was gonna make a joke like that. Don't be mean. On Time. It is bound. Looking good. Looking good. That only leaves the eighth circle, and we are actively working to free that up so that we can bind all four of those. So I've got a little ways to go before that happens, but it is definitely in the Avatar's near future. I think that this is here, well, uh, let's let's get out of here first because that's uh, looking pretty awful. So, okay, oh, uh, leap of faith, I guess. There we go. That works, kinda. It's, it's pretty awkward, but uh, <laughs> I think that's there because that room where the floor attacks the avatar in the earth maze, you're meant to cast time stop there. But what if you'd like to keep it? What if you'd like to have the option to cast it more than once in the game? Well, at least this is here, right? At least you can get out of the earth maze before completing it by pressing that red button, come down here, do the binding, and then use this teleporter to get all the way back up the air maze, go through the fire maze, and there you are at the earth maze again, where you can now cast time stop from your spell book to get through the room with the angry fort. Uh, as we'll see later, I will demonstrate it later, time stop eats through your mana like almost instantly, so it's, it's not a realistic spell to keep around anyway. In fact, it might be easier just to use it that one time uh, in the floor room, but yeah, I don't know. I, I wanted to fill out the spell book. Okay. So, back to uh, back to the matter at hand. We've got these four globes. Let's just deposit them onto the pedestal. something. We're definitely hearing a lot of stuff going on every time we do that. Nothing has happened right here. This is still doing whatever it's doing. Let's go look in the elemental mazes again. Hi, Exodus. Found your floor. Well, nothing has changed in here. But what about over here? Those are new. That's new.
What's in there? Hmm. What the Avatar did by placing each of those globes on the pedestal was open a corresponding portal to an elemental plane. And in this case, we are now staring into a portal to the elemental plane of air. Let's go. That's uh, a great thing to see upon arrival. Another dragon. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, there's a slasher demon. I'm gonna take care of that weird translucent vulture though. And that one. This is fun. Um, I guess we can kill the slasher demon. I swear, I swear, there is a reason I'm shooting you jerks out of the sky. And there's another slasher demon. Any other birds want to try their luck here? Nope, if I press T, it just targets that dragon. Oh, I do see a bird out there, though. I see you. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere till I've, uh, dealt with the birds. There we are. That spell has really good range. And luckily, we are wearing the chest of the troll. So that little bit of damage we just took from that horrible, horrible bird will restore as we're exploring this area. Oh, and there goes the cloud cover and it's back. Strange. I think, I think we're in the clear to explore now. So let's do that. Uh, let's see what, um, I guess we'll go down here. This reminds me so much of Pagan. Let me go this way first. Particularly the, uh, the area where you go to see Stratos. And you've got to jump on all those platforms. And if you miss, you die. Okay, so there's... There's nothing here. That's... That's amazing. So let's see what is over on... That platform. If we hadn't killed those birds, we'd kind of have to be looking over our shoulder as we're doing this. So I feel pretty good about that now. Hmm. Okay, more nothing. And the dragon is looming behind that. We'll get to you. Remain patient. Okay, this is where we started. You can tell because of the way this gore is hanging off the side. How nice. Uh, well, let's look up there. Just hopping on tiny platforms. I wonder if the air is thin up here. The Atar gets lightheaded. 
Don't fall. Hmm, there's an interesting ambient noise. As we get closer. I'm sure we'll see what that is in a second. No kidding. That is a lightning sword. Can we take it? No. Can't target it at all. And it is on a pedestal. Alright, well. I'll just leave that there for now. And head back down. We've already got a lightning sword, so... Not that big a deal, but I do like to hoard everything. So I would like to get that lightning sword if possible. And we're going this way. It's a little confusing, but back once again to where we started. Okay. Hmm. That right there, can't see it too well, but I suspect that might be something that we're going to find very helpful. Just conspicuously placed there. Let's take a look. Oh yes, that looks like a mana pool. It is a mana pool, which means that I am going to demonstrate how quickly Time Stop uses the Avatar's mana. Look at that. Look at that go. And you're out of mana. What was that like? Three seconds, four seconds, something like that. Terrible. So, you want to make sure you've got an orange potion, or some serpent wine, or a mana pool nearby if you're going to do that. Because yikes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, let's see what's up there, because that's the central platform. It's where we came from. Might as well just go this way. Oh, and you know what? While we're down here... Yeah, this is... This isn't as scary as it looks. I don't mean to break the illusion. But here's as far down as you can go. So if you do fall off of these little platforms as you're jumping, it's, it's not the end of the world. And you can just come back over here get back on track. Yeah. It's forgiving, I know. Could be worse. I mean, it could be instant death. This could be like Pagan. Oh, did you miss one of your little platform jumps? You're dead. Oh, did you fall in the water? You're dead. How about no? At first glance... It looks like there's nothing here. And I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. Maybe you're just supposed to think, hey, you know what? I am in the elemental plane of air. Perhaps it would be a great idea to run around with ethereal sight on. Because that is what you're supposed to do. Having Ethereal Sight on, on this platform at least, reveals a globe and a teleporter that we could not see before. So we are looking down on uh, 
pretty much the whole map from here. There's the lightning sword off in the distance. There's that dragon, as we will deal with the dragon shortly. But in the meantime, I'm going to take these globes and step on these teleporters. Just uh, ending up all over the place, aren't we? Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, that, that didn't do... Oh, now it's like hopping around injured. Um... Okay, now I feel bad. It's like we broke its wings or something. Um. Well. No. No. No! I was too slow! No! Oh, I am so distraught about this. Oh, that one got the last laugh. And then there's the dancing one. I don't know. Maybe he can hang out with Eustace later or something. Wait, you're coming over here, aren't you? You are. It won't die. We need to get out of here now. I'm taking this globe and moving on. That's precarious. Well, it felt a little more precarious when I first appeared there. Don't put me on the edge. Where are we now? There's another one. This place is just full of these awful birds. Yeah, there's just something weird about that other one that was doing the dance. I don't know. But I think... I think we're good. Moving on. Huh, and we've been taken to the lightning sword. I'm going to turn off Ethereal Sight now. Well, we've got these five globes of air or whatever. Let's do this. I'm not sure that did anything. Uh, how about here? That did something. Got a funny noise and everything. Let's do that with the other four. Um. Okay. Did anybody bring any Dramamine? Oh, alrighty. Well, now the Sword of Lightning. I've just been calling it a Lightning Sword, but uh, now I can interact with it. Which means we can take it. Indeed, it is taken. All the, the fancy lighting around it disappeared. And doesn't come back. Whatever. Too bad the Avatar cannot dual wield, well, anything, but also dual wield uh, two-handed weapons like the Barbarian in uh, Diablo 2. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was wicked. Okay. All that's left is to address that dragon. Let's see. How do we get there? Well, we should start by... Getting back to the center by going down here like we did the first time that we explored the platform with the lightning sword. Almost there. Huh. 
the uh, bird gore is gone, but that's okay. Yeah, and there you are, big dragon. Coming for you. We could take a sip of the mana pool, but I'm not going to. Because our mana pool is just fine. That is unnecessary. Okay, here we are. Oh! Been spotted. We've been spotted. Can I make this jump? Nope, that, that didn't work. That was bad. Hmm. You can do it, Avatar. There you go. Just do the thing that makes less sense. Ah. Well, that's not obvious. Come on up. Can I hit this? Nope, we're going to have to shoot it down. Which begins now. And it's such a pretty dragon. I'm holding down alt, but I'm not getting three arrows. Or am I? I don't know. Hmm. Am I? Oh, I can't shoot with that open. Okay, I got 911. 908. All right. Just didn't look like it. Ah, now there's a teleporter. Ooh, how did I miss you? Slasher demon out there. Ah, yes. Also, also, scroll of invisibility. We got lucky in our playthrough and found the scroll of invisibility uh, on Scara Bray after killing a lich. That is random. That that can also happen in Dungeon Distard from the lich in there. But. We weren't so lucky then. Either way, uh, we've already got the Scroll of Invisibility. We've already got it bound to our spellbook. But uh, if that hadn't happened, this is where we finally would have gotten Invisibility. That's how that works. Get the old sword and board back on. Where did that Slasher Demon go? Can I still target it? No, it's pretty far away. Oh well, it's not that important. And yes, that dragon dropped the four more worthless gems. No, wait, no, that's an emerald. We could take an emerald, Desrat. That is number two. Thank you. I've already got some bag filling going on here. Um, throw that in there. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. If we have to drop something, we can drop some of those scrolls we don't need. Well, okay. That's not what I meant to do. And we've got some jank. Now we don't have any jank. I'm just looking out for that uh, slasher demon, but I'm sure it's fine. Let's make our way down. I think I would like to head over to that mana pool, though. There it is. Might as well heal to full and take a little drink. Excellent, we are restored. I'm still looking for that demon, but... I think it's just off doing its own demony things. Here in the elemental plane of air. And there is a teleporter that was not there previously. It appeared after we killed the dragon. Let's step upon it. Um... Is... Is that what was supposed to happen? Um... Uh, 
Did I step on the wrong thing? Because this is the whole... Uh, globes for the lightning sword thing again. Yeah, thanks. I must have gone to the wrong platform. Okay, well that's fine. I'm going to turn off Ethereal Sight. That was strange. I didn't think that would still be there, especially since uh, I had Ethereal Sight turned off. Ah, yes, I, I did step on the wrong one. I went to the wrong platform and stepped on the wrong teleporter. This is what I was meant to step on. I don't know where I was. I, uh... Eh, I think I went to that one. Got a little turned around there. Okay, that's fine. No worries. And that seems to have brought us back to the air maze. And we could see that the lightning down there, I don't know why I came out here. We're going to have to uh, get back on this teleporter to get to the fire maze anyway. But uh, yeah. We could see that the um, lightning portion, or the air portion, of whatever was going on down there has dissipated. Cool. I imagine we can do that with the uh, three remaining elements by going to their respective elemental planes and dealing with whatever challenges await the Avatar there. And we'll carry on with that in the next video. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you then.